Hi. So what do you do when you have brain freeze during a presentation? <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, this is the ultimate nightmare for most people. By the way, I'm Michael. And I'm Helen. And we're the presentation maestro. Now, there's two ways of answering this. Firstly, we'd like to give you a couple of things to think about beforehand to prevent brain freeze happening. And secondly, we'd like to give you a little tip to how to deal with it when it does happen. And what would you say one of the first things to do would be beforehand? First, thing, first things to do beforehand is, is pretty much to breathe. Breathe before the presentation, deep into your belly. It's a calming, relaxing breathing. Some people know it, know it as yogic breathing. Indeed. But it's a deep breath. And it's through the nose into the bottom part of your belly. And I wonder if I can demonstrate it here. Perhaps we'll do it together. So if you put your hands resting, just above your tummy button, and I'm quite fat, so you can see them. <laughs> it doesn't look good for me. And I'm not, so you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and with the fingers just touching here, now we're going to breathe in through our noses, and you should see the fingers come apart on our tummies, which show that you that we're breathing in the right place. So here we go. That's one breath. We'll do another one. Think about filling up a bottle. It's the bottom of the bottle that gets filled first. And most people, when you say to them, take a deep breath, it goes into the top part of their lungs like this, yeah. And the shoulders come up. And you may have noticed when we did it, the shoulders didn't move at all. It just, just our tummies expanded. So we'll do it one more time. And maybe you'd like to join along with us now. Come on! Because this is a really useful thing to be able to do. And it's better done standing up. So if you're sitting down, stand up and do it with us. Not so here if we you're go. on the train, though, because that might look a little bit silly. Oh, she's got no sense of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. What about a plane? Put your... No, OK. Shut All up right. and get on with it. Um, <laughs> so put your fingers on your tummy like this, just fingertips touching, and then do two breaths with us, starting now. Now, I hope you've done that with us, but if you haven't, it doesn't matter. You can practice this at any stage. But just five will be probably enough, but definitely ten deep breaths like this before you go in to give a talk will get you into a state of what they call in yoga a relaxed alertness. You're all there, but you're not a Twitter. And that's a really useful thing to be able to do, and nobody else needs to see you doing it. It can be very discreet. So that's one thing we suggest very much to do before a talk to prevent brain freeze. Yep. And the second thing, frankly, is to use the right tools because the chances are you're probably not. And there isn't the space in this video to go into great detail about it, but one thing we will direct you to is... Our book, Blow Your Own Horn. And you'll find a link somewhere around this post or this video that will take you through to Amazon where you can get it if you wish. Because yes. there's a chapter in there called... Magic notes. Yep. Magical notes, and it shows you exactly how to do it. And what, th what it does in the chapter is show you how to install everything into your head so that... It comes out in the right order, you forget nothing, and all without the need to rely on notes or slides. Absolutely. And you don't brain freeze. So those, those are the two preventative things we'd give you to think about. Now, let's deal with it if it actually happens, because you'll be in a state of panic when it happens, and it's most people's ultimate nightmare in a talk. You so, get up there, and you go to talk, and you open your mouth, and... Yeah. Nothing comes. <laughs> if, you want to, if you haven't experienced it, sorry for interrupting, but if you haven't experienced it, and you want to experience it just to see what it's like, go and try and do a Facebook Live. Put the Live on, and... Nothing comes. <laughs> Which is why we don't do many Facebook lives, to be honest with you. But seriously, what would you suggest they do? Okay. If it strikes. If it strikes, number one, be honest. Let everybody know, God, I've just forgotten where I am. Yeah. They're just so damn happy they're not up there going through it. Yeah. And, and the everybody audience is, will understand. Yeah, they will. The audience is largely on your side. And there's hardly anybody who hasn't had a, at least a mini freeze, if not a major one, through a talk. So number one, be honest. Yes. Number two? Number two, stop and breathe. 
Again, breathe. Do that belly breathing mm -hmm. to help yourself get into that calm, relaxed state. And number three. Realise you have all the time you need to find your way back on track again, to look at your notes if you have them there, look at your cue cards, look at your slides. Just take time to centre yourself again before continuing. And if you can make a joke about it, so much the better. If not, just, just take the time. Honest. Just be honest. Yes. Hope you found that handy. You'll find the link to blow your own horn in this v post somewhere. Do have a look at it because it will help prevention rather than cure. Hope you enjoy that. See you in the next one. See you soon.